the percent formula. Our objective here, set up and use the percent formula when finding the part. In a previous video, we looked at the percent proportion, which uh, for me is what I use for almost everything. Uh, but the percent formula is often quite useful when you're just simply seeking the part because it just means you're doing a brief multiplication. Okay, so let's take a look. What do we know? Well, we know that percent is a ratio out of 100. Uh, the percent sign indicates that out of 100. The percent sign replaces that 100 denominator. And we also know that to change a percent to its decimal form, we divide by 100. And that is something that results in moving the decimal two places to the left. Dividing by 100 is making a number smaller, and moving the decimal to the left is also making the number smaller. So the percent formula, it can be used to solve all of them, as I mentioned earlier. However, it's most, usual, most useful when solving percent problems that involve simply finding the part. And this is, uh, this is a lot of the percent problems you deal with, particularly with sales, with taxes, you name it. You're, you're looking for the part and the percent formula that can be useful. Well, what is it? Well, the part equals the percent as a decimal times the whole. Okay, that's the percent formula. Let's take a look. Example, 20% of 75 is what number? Okay, so let's see here. This is the percent. We know that the word of, percent is always of something, and that indicates the whole. So we're looking for is, whoops, as recalled from the last video, is often points to the part and so we can set this up, we can set this up using the percent proportion, or we can use the percent formula. So part equals percent times the whole. Okay, so it equals the percent, which in this case is 20% times the whole, in this case is 75. Now here's where we need to recognize <clears throat> To change the percent to its decimal form, divide by 100. The decimal is right here after the 20. Dividing by 100 means it moves two places to the left. So this is going to be 0.20 times 75. And so the answer to our question is 0 0.20 times 75, which is 15. 20% 20 of 75 is 15. So that's uh, the method for using the percent formula to find the part. Let's take a look at a, uh, an actual example, kind of real world example here. <clears throat> Excuse me. During a one day sale, 600 customers bought the on sale pizza. Of these customers, 20% used a coupon. How many customers used a coupon? Well, the number of cu customers that used a coupon is a part of the number of customers who bought the on-sale pizza. Okay, so we can say the part is equal to the percent times the whole. Okay, so it's equal to the percent. Well, it's 20% use the coupon. Okay, the whole is 600. And of course, 20%, we want to do math with it, so we're going to rewrite it in its decimal form. And we come up with... 120 customers. And again, this makes sense. We have 600 customers who bought it, 20% used a coupon, so the number used a coupon should be smaller and significantly smaller. It's only 20% than 600, and so getting 120 makes sense. So there you have the percent formula. Again, it can be used for all situations, but I find it most useful when you're simply looking for the part. So you have the percent and you have the whole, and then you just multiply those two numbers together to get the answer you're looking for.